Tonight on the Brolition, we talk about whether or not Christians should watch Jellystone and Game of Thrones. Why'd you have to put Game of Thrones in it? And whether or not the Clintons actually killed Betty White. I think they did. And we're back, the Brolition. Back after a long hiatus. That's a, that's a short intro. Was it was it? a short intro. We're going to do a longer Man, one next week. Well, this is a test run. We're just trying to get our feet back underneath yeah. us. New you know. studio. Speaking of the intro, I made the video, but I did not ask. That is a copyright free music, right? I bought the, the, the <laughs> license for it. Okay. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> Nobody watches this show anyway. Yeah, no The strikes. chance of him running across one of his songs <laughs> on here. <laughs> Seriously. It's, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, just checking. I was going to say it's the same chance of, of, of Betty White was killed by the Clintons, but that's a pretty good percentage. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, any more? There's no telling. Who, who knows what's happening Maybe she now. had dirt on him. Hey, it's good to have you guys with us. Uh, Pastor Lee joined on my right by the Hoosier Hillbilly Mike Paul. To my left, Dauntless Game is J.R. Robinson. And joined in the studio by our producer, Let's Go Brandon. No, I'm kidding. Let's Go Cameron. Oh. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's it's great. because And the dude, uh, the Brandon guy was going to get, did you see that? There was a Bitcoin company that was going to sponsor him, LGB. Yeah, I saw that acronym the other day, and I was like, I don't know yeah, what's going on. And NASCAR wouldn't let him do it that, because they didn't want to get involved in political issues. But they're going to let they're going to have a rainbow car yeah. for for the gays and lesbians. That's not a political issue. That's a, a oh, some other issue. It is. <laughs> so I I sat down and 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 during our time to the Christmas holidays. By the way, uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I, I, I sit down and I said, I'm going to watch Jellystone to see what's going on. Why is everybody so fascinated by this show? Because I saw all these shirts. We went to we went. To Are you saying Jellystone on purpose? Yes. Okay. We went to some place where, well, isn't that where uh, Yogi Bear lived? That's, yeah. Okay, I knew I heard that before. I don't know. That was also was Yellowstone. actually Jellystone? Yeah, no, it's Yellowstone. It was Yellowstone. It was Yellowstone, <laughs> Yellowstone as well. It was yeah. not Jellystone. Something's Jellystone. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's well, out there. Google oh, he's going to Google Jellystone and totally ruin our podcast here. But, <laughs> yeah. So I said, okay, we're going to find out what the, all the hubbub about. And so, uh, did you change? The color changed up there. Did you see that? It's fine. We actually can look at our monitor now and see our glorious faces I know. while we're up that's, here. That's the scary part. Yeah. We see what's going on now. You're talking about just the top bar? Yeah. That's like something that Biden would notice. Don't worry about that. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Might be down to two of us next week. <laughs> no, it's like he's reading the top. It's like the don't read this part. Yeah, don't read this part. The end. End quote. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Simple Joe. Simple Joe, under our what, year two of our regime here. Yeah, we're it's up. getting there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just it's just so funny. We've been off the air for like a couple of months uh, now, and the world is just as stupid as it was. So, yeah. What's Jellystone? What is it? Jellystone Lake and uh, Bloomington. Oh my! Well, it's not what you were thinking. Okay, that's where I'm by. I heard it. Jelly, I knew I heard it somewhere. Jellystone Park. It's real. Lake Monroe. Jellystone Park. So I so we watched the first season of it, mm-hmm. and I said I'm not just going to watch one episode. I'm going to watch several episodes because after the first episode, I was like, this this sucks donkey balls. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> and so I said I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to watch a few more episodes. So we watched like seven episodes out of the first season, and my wife almost. My wife and I almost at the same time looked at each other and said, "We hate these people." <laughs> and I, I watched the show. Huge Kevin Costner fan, love him. I think he's fantastic, great actor. He was terrible as Robin Hood, absolutely horrible as Robin Hood. Don't ever watch the Robin Hood movie with Kevin Costner in it. Was it terrible? Is awful harsh, yeah, but I, I mean, he's Robin Hood with a Midwestern accent, and every once in a while he tries to throw in a little British accent, and he's terrible. He okay, yes, I'll agree with that. At least the at movie least, itself was good. And at least Men in Tights, they make a okay, joke Men about. Men in Tights was awesome. At least the Gary, Gary Hughes or Olds, whatever E W E L W E S. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he, he makes a joke about him at least having a British accent. Sure, uh, English accent. Sorry. Uh, the best Robin Hood is Russell Crowe in it. No, there was a Robin Hood with Russell Crowe. No, it's grown up Robin Hood. Apparently, I missed that one. No. The greatest part about here, well, here we go. I said we weren't going to do anything. The like this, here we go. The greatest part about Kevin Costner's Robin Hood is Alan Rickman as the bad guy. Okay, he's yes. fantastic. He's, he's fantastic at everything. He's he fan, I watched Die Hard again for the five thousandth time. I'm just to the point year. now where it's like I love. You see a movie so much that you're just like 
I know exactly what's going to happen next. But I still love it. And my wife is, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there doing all the dialogue. <laughs> and she's like, please stop, you're killing me. Of course, I can't do Alan Rickman because he has a very distinctive voice. He but. does. So I'm sitting there, we're watching the shows, and, I, and I'm watching it. And I usually try to get the benefit of the doubt to everything, and I'm okay with it and stuff like that. So I'm watching, and I just, I don't see it, folks. I know we we only have like five people watch it anyway. Now it's going to go down to two. That's fine. Uh, I, I, and there are shows that people like uh, don't like that I like, and I get that and understand. I just don't under when I go into stores and I see the shirts, everybody's like. And all these women are just like, oh, my gosh, if Rip walked in this room, I would just drop my pants, right? And it's just like, <laughs> and my wife, my, 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 you, know, you guys know my wife. She's just like, really? This guy? And he's a homicidal maniac, hmm. right? I've not seen it. You like Rip. Cameron likes Rip. Cameron likes Jellystone. So he's he's like, oh, I don't want to talk. Big Yellowstone fan. Uh, okay, big Yellowstone fan. All right. Yeah. You like Rip. Cool. He's pretty cool. Does he kill people? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to like this guy already. All right, so he well, kills people. Well, he's, not a, he's not a John Wick killing people well, either. Only people that uh. affect or can do damage to the ranch. Okay, so he's protecting the interest of, of Dutton. So he kills people that can hurt the ranch. Yeah. All right, that's the kind of guy you want to hang out with. That's right. He's loyal. I mean, as long he's as loyal. loyal. He's right. loyal. Yes, he's loyal. Where, and that, that, that's great. And I appreciate you guys have been loyal friends. I appreciate loyalty and friendship. Just, I don't expect you to so kill anybody for me. you want me to kill me. someone for you? A sign of loyalty is not killing people. <laughs> well, good, because if so, I'm not loyal to anybody. I don't. I, it's, I'm sorry. I wouldn't. I, I love you guys. I wouldn't kill for any of you. I mean, I just, I just wouldn't. And so that's we're comforting. watching that, and then. Beth is one of the most horrible, despicable characters ever on television. And even the actress is just like, I don't want to ever play this character again. Uh, you know, there's, I saw a shirt. It said, a world full of Karens be a Beth. And I thought, oh my gosh, really? I think I'd rather have the Karens. <laughs> Beth is a, an al alcoholic who's also addicted to drugs. She has mommy issues. I understand what happened. That was horrible. A lot of things, bad things happen to people. I get that, and but they don't become that, and she is just, there's nothing appealing. Uh, uh, you like Beth, too? I actually am not big on Beth. Okay. Yeah. Does your wife like Beth? She, no. Okay. <laughs> so is the problem that there's no morally straight people? Usually, no, usually when you go through a show, you're like, okay, there's one character I can really identify with. There's one character I really like. Mm-hmm. Like maybe if you're if you're watching Game of Thrones, I'm, I'm a bit, I, I don't know nothing about it, but like a Jon Snow, everybody thought okay. Jon Snow was awesome. Yeah. So you, you you you're with Jon Snow, you want to see how he makes it through. Okay. Mm -hmm. There wasn't one character. The only character after first season now, maybe they get better, but the only character after first season I even halfway liked was Jamie, the lawyer. That's how <laughs> wow, bad it is. Oh, you like yeah, the lawyer at the later episodes. Anyone like Jamie? Okay, wow. fine. I'm the only guy I like now. Later on, I'm going to hate him too. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there watching. I'm, I, but I, but the issue is, and I don't, I don't, I didn't watch Game of Thrones either. Um, we did know, guilty. These two, I watched these two it. And I liked it. Did we suck it? I liked three it. Episodes and we haven't watched anymore. Okay, so I, I watched a couple of episodes of it. Um, I, and I watched The Witcher. But it's a show. Yeah, but it's I a like show I too. could get into. It. Now he's getting all defensive. See how Sorry. defensive he's getting. He acts like he's cool with it, and he's like, <laughs> you know, so he, you can tell he's getting upset about it. <laughs> so, like an eight. <laughs> so, so what happens is, um, I, 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 I don't know. I try to watch these shows that everybody's watching, trying to see what the appeal is. And, and like I said, I watch shows that you guys don't like, and it's, it's fine. Psych. I just don't see. Psych's a fantastic it's show. Not a fantastic. It's a show. fantastic. Sorry, it's not. Now he's uh, he's mad because I said something. It's, about just, Game of it's really not. I watched it. And I was like, he watched I one episode. At least I, I gave mean. people a chance. And you guys watched one episode. Because like, usually, I if like I don't like something, I just stop watching it. Mm. I don't have to watch a whole season to go. Well, I didn't like that. No, because you could watch something like The Expanse, which is a fantastic show too. And you seen that. The first episode, you might be like, it, it wasn't. First episode wasn't that great, but mm -hmm. as the story develops. It's fantastic. And there's characters you like. Amos. Yeah, yeah. Character, Amos. But does yeah. he not kill everyone? He kills people. Uh, He's got a good moral compass about his murder, though. <laughs> if that, if, if that <laughs> That's sounds the way right. you can state it. <laughs> like Makes you feel better about it. He kills evil people. Yeah. Okay. 
So does Red. I mean, no, he does not. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with In that. In the first season, they've got this guy who is definitely, he's a bully. All right, he's a bully. He beats up one of the guys who has the brand. Okay. So, and they're like, take him to the train station. So yeah. they take him out of the train station, you know, and kills him. That, was, that wasn't Red. That wasn't Rip. That was the uh, that, was, was that was the other guy. That was the old guy. Oh, so there's two homicidal maniacs on staff. <laughs> well, yeah. In case one goes down, you gotta have backup. Uh, 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 so I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get the appeal of it. I, I just. I I can't. I'm just to the point. I I can't watch shows that just have gratuitous violence and gratuitous sex. I can't. So you're not gonna watch TV ever again. Basically, yeah. <laughs> that's basically how they all are anymore. I, it it is. And that's what's yeah. and, and you guys know I'm not approved by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just like I get so tired of it. It's like because it's not needed. Like everybody, the infamous Beth in the the cow trough, the uh, yeah. horse trough thing. I know. I know. Okay, so she gets in there, and and there was a way that you used to be able to do it, mm-hmm. to where it was implied. Everybody kind of knew what was going on. Now like, they just show it all. Like just don't show down. Just she show. can be in the water, huh. and yeah, yeah, but she got her the booze hanging out and all this stuff. Then she gets off, she walks off, and her flabby butts walking away from the and and I'm just like, this this is such a good show. It could be if it didn't have all this stuff. And it's like I remember when it first came out because it was Paramount was doing it, and it was like, hey, we could we could say the f word. Oh, yeah. So now we're we're going to say the f word every. Hey, give me an f and cup of coffee. You know, and so it they, would, they're mechanics. Well, well, they work yeah. in a mechanic shop. I know. That's pretty well what I'm getting at. And I'm sure, guys, uh, I'm sure, yeah, the, you know, ranch hands and the stuff they do. Oh, that, yeah. I, you know, yeah I, 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 I get that. I'm around it. I understand that it happens. It's just when I'm watching television, it's like it could be a good show. They just seem like they can't make good shows anymore without that stuff in it. It's the producer or creator or whatever because when the creator changes so shows can be made and be good without that like if you went to um Kiefer Sutherland's movie where he was president the tv show where he was president for a while right the first two or three seasons of that was designated survivor was absolutely great it got canceled Netflix bought it the the final two seasons was unwatchable because Netflix owned it Netflix put the junk in it that I didn't want to see the same thing happened with Game of Thrones they realized about season five, six, that they didn't need all that. Yeah, because it got... The, the three final seasons of Game of Thrones, was, I didn't have like, to skip anything. Yeah, there was no nudity. The yeah. language would got cleaned up yep. considerably because they realized we have we have established franchise. We don't mm-hmm. need it now. Same thing happened with The Expanse, too. The first couple seasons of Expanse were not overly vulgar. The most recent one is. I, I, the last season? or I, I haven't watched the most recent one, so the one the, the last one I watched was different yeah but vulgar by their standards by the expanse standards is like an f-bomb you know right one f-bomb every show. instead of every sentence yeah, yeah, yeah instead of every sentence yeah and it's like when you you know they just they I, I don't i don't know i just watch it and sometimes it's just weird it goes from like show to show i just watch stuff and i get an uneasy feeling as i'm watching the show like i we we are watching a show called white chapel and it is about uh this crime unit in Britain and, and they they the first show is about a, a Jack the Ripper copycat and them going I'm fascinated by that stuff and the violence it's a lot of blood a lot of stuff like that and that just doesn't it doesn't affect me. I can watch John Wick all day mm-hmm. the problem with John Wick is that the first episode is fantastic but then the gratuitous violence started developing later on down the road where it's just violence for violence sake mm-hmm. and it kept getting worse and worse with each episode of it because I think that's what all oh, these people like this stuff let's just make it over the top yeah and you know they went from like gunshots to now we're going to stick knives in people's head and stuff like that mm-hmm. and I you know I didn't like the third one as much as I liked the first one yeah because John Wick you can kind of you can understand he doesn't want to do it mm-hmm. but you killed his dog after he had lost his wife he's back in he stole his car you know man things we, we can appreciate yeah. that yeah, and so he does that, and everybody not he's just a dog, but his last gift, his last gift from, from his, his dying dead wife, wife. Right. yeah. So, so you you get that, and and so it's not that I don't, it's not that I'm a prude, and I'm just like, uh, you know, I don't want to see any of it. It's just, I guess when I watch it, it's got to make some kind of sense to me. Mm-hmm. You haven't been in Yellowstone long enough for it to make sense. 
Well, yes. they said the last season was terrible. That so is what people it. say, but they, they tell me the same thing about Psych, which I don't like very much. Right. And The Office, which I don't like very much. See, the, people I love The Office. People globally love both of those shows. I've tried to watch both yeah. of them. And I think I've seen all the funny parts and the little clips that I see on YouTube. Yeah, and, and honestly. I, I, that, I don't need a whole yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. And I get that. People have different interests. I, like, yeah. I'm a Frasier fanatic. I think it's one it's of the best show. And that was one ever. show I could not watch. Yeah. Right up there with Seinfeld. I didn't care. Seinfeld I loved. Okay, but, but you think about the top ten shows of all time. None of those shows, to you, if I said, give me a top ten yeah. list of your favorite shows, none of those shows had what they have today. Oh, no. I, I, I go back and I say Family Matters, Saved by the Bell, um, yeah, MASH. all the 90s, MASH. Um, oh, gosh. there was. I like Sanford and Son personally. I remember Alan Alda on an episode. You can beat me if you want to. but On, on an episode of MASH one night, he called somebody, you son of a bitch. And I, the whole world and the whole, the whole. I mean, it was the biggest news story for a month yeah. mm-hmm. because he used that phrase on there. And today, if you if you watched an entire show and that's the only thing they said, you'd be like, oh, wow, that was good. Right, we well, wanted to watch Perry Mason the other night, the reboot of Perry Mason. Mm-hmm. Didn't even know they were rebooting it. They rebooted Perry Mason with a young guy when he's young. All right? Okay. So I turned it on. Oh, oh, this is going to be cool. I turn it on, and it, there's that thing at the top left. TV, MA. Uh-huh. Nudity. And, and I thought, Perry Mason? And I said, that's it. That's it. I can't watch a show but because they know that's what sells, and that's what's sad, is that they know if they show boobies, they're going to get more people to watch it. That's what Game of Thrones did. You also, I yeah, absolutely. They threw it in there trying to get people to watch. When they it. had a great story, and they didn't have to have it. I same way with Witcher. Look at Lord of the Rings. Look how fantastic Lord yeah. of the Rings was. Mm-hmm. No, no, what? There's no nudity whatsoever. No foul language whatsoever. Yeah, because it was written by a Christian. And it, you think they do it because they think their content's not good enough without it? I think they do it because they're, they're, I think so. I think because HBO it. tells them to. Well, there's, a, there's a skit. You see that skit? Who? One of you guys showed it to me, I guess. Where the guy's going and he's pitching a show for HBO and they're yeah. like, does it have boobies? Yeah. He's like, no, it doesn't. we got to put boobies in there. Well, uh, I also think it's, it's where it comes from, too. So let's take The Witcher, for instance. The Witcher, lore, the books... Every, the video game, everything had those nudity scenes in it. Right. It right. was part of, it was just expected when it came out. Right. The, didn't have to have it in there, but the true loyal fans would have lost their mind if they wouldn't have put something like that in there because, well, how dare you not put it in there? Mm-hmm. I think that has a little bit to do with it, but it's more of, we're going to, more people will watch it. And some of it's false. Sometimes the ratings say that there are things that are not there. That is. Like, yes. I, we have now watched three quarters of. The Walking Dead, and every episode is tagged with nudity, mm-hmm. and there has been zero. Yeah, I did. I never understood why they tagged nudity in the unless yeah. you're talking about maybe one of the zombies. Unless one of the zombies is, was decomposing something yeah. somewhere, you know? Well, that, I, yeah, they I had they had Whitechapel, and they had a, they had nudity up there, but it was actually a corpse, yeah, uh, female right. corpse. And uh, that's yeah. when nudity be, can borderline be acceptable. You know, it's believable. So people yeah, die. You yeah. know, it's not, it's not it's a, it's, gratuitous yeah, it's and a in your face. It's an autopsy yeah. scene. Yeah, you're going to, okay, I get that. They're yeah. not, you know, they don't cut off the boobs when they do an autopsy. I get that. But I just, I I guess I just get frustrated. I, I, I guess that's a problem, problem with the Yellowstone is when I watch it, I'm, I'm just sitting there going, this could be mm-hmm. a great show without all this crap in here. And I just wish there was just one redeemable character in there. The Expanse, the story is fantastic, but mm-hmm. you all, like I said, you also and you have Amos. You have Amos, who's one of the greatest characters of all time. But you also had some other characters that you could identify with. And like, and there's characters in that show I can't stand, mm-hmm. and they're good characters. They're supposed to be good characters, but you just don't yeah. like them. But yet, you have that bond with with certain characters in there, and I just couldn't find that with Yellowstone anywhere. Is Rip? I, I don't I, I don't I, I don't know if we, we look at Rip and we look at Beth and we say that's our that's our role models that's the people we want to be like and I'm not I appreciate the loyalty that Rip has but I don't want friends who are homicidal maniacs Cameron since you got your phone there uh, use the common sense media website and look at the parent ratings for Yellowstone because they all one of their categories is positive role models 
I'd be curious to see what that website uh, oh lists my as God. positive Speaking when you said Friends, Friends was a great show. Friends was, was a great We're Friends watching it for the 10th time right now. Gosh, so. that's such a good show. <laughs> and I didn't agree with everything that Friends did within their no, shows. No, but they Alan never... Is what is it? Alan's the kid. You don't well, need that. Let's just say 13. I, I never use this, so I don't know. So I just search for Yellowstone? Yeah. Hmm. What What is he that, doing? He's using Common Sense Media's website that does parental warnings for TV shows and content like that okay are they gonna put any positive role models in there yeah that's what i said there's so one of the categories they, is positive who role models knows? i would i would doubt it hey no but i, I i've age, never seen it but <laughs> they put rip in there age 15 plus yeah. wow oh i wouldn't uh uh-uh. 15 is high for that site parents say age 17 plus yeah, absolutely that's yeah probably, age yeah. 17 plus i get yeah if they say Beth is a positive role model, <laughs> then not present. Positive role model. Not yeah, present. no pre- no, yeah, no no not role models. present. There you go. No Thanks. positive role model. That, so you that's got, a problem okay, for Okay, folks, you you love I Yellowstone. I get it. That's fine. But the parents are saying there's not one positive role model but on the show. Bodyguard for but. the Indian uh, governor or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. straws now. Hey, I mean, he's a side like the side third man. cousin to the <laughs> general's he's third really mother cool is right. He's he's, he's actually a pretty good dude. He's not a killer, but he's a dude to go out and bury the dead bodies for you. Yeah, he's a good friend. And he won't nice say guy. nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I I'm, I'm sitting there the watching it, and I, I I seriously I got I got to the point to where the Indian governor and the guy trying to build the subdivision, and they blow up the river and change the direction. Yeah. Those are spoiler I, one. I like I personally I like that that guy who plays that because he's yeah. uh, he's a really good actor. Yeah. But I I you know they're more of a I wouldn't say a role model, but they're somebody you could say, hey, you know, I get it, I understand those people. And then the Dutton Ranch is filled with homicidal maniacs who are running around. And I think in the first season, when they take that dude to the train station, I think Dutton signs off on it. He's just kinda like you know, because Rip says to, something to him yeah. like, "Well, he knows he knows a lot of stuff has happened here." I well, I know what happened in the first episode. <laughs> Keep going. I don't know the rest. Of it. I only have to watch it. Well, no, I was say this. We're gonna put spoiler him. alert at the bottom. He's giving away the whole yeah. plot. Yeah. I don't remember a whole lot of. By the way, no beeps. I'm not. I'm not editing this season. Okay. But we're, uh, we're gonna end recording. I'm gonna hit upload. Yeah. But I just don't. I, I don't. I don't see the appeal. I guess what what I yeah. like about it, if I can take just a minute to explain. Well, what you I'm already doing. have. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can Thanks. people actually hear him Thanks. though? No, not so very well. So what I like about it is, you know, it, it continues to expand, and it and it continues to the story continues to grow. Like for example, Beth, she's she's obviously got like you said, she's got a lot of things messed up with her uh, mentally you start to see some of the things that happened in her past that made her that way and made her into a cold-hearted... Well, I, I saw know. that. And what happened to her was horrific. Her mother, with no love whatsoever, toward her. No, Jamie took her to... Uh, she got pregnant, and Jamie took her to the Indian reservation to get taken care of, had an abortion. Yeah. Well, they fixed her. They they took everything out. They said that, mm. was, that was required for uh. an abortion. So that explains why Jamie hates, or why Beth hates Jamie so much. Okay. Which oh, it just gets better and better. It gets it gets good. I'm telling you. You need to watch the, the Expanse and watch Amos, and because he's just a guy who just he has a moral code. As long as you don't bother him, you're fine. You try to kill somebody he likes, he's going to kill you. It's not hey, I'm just going to kill you because you know too much. It's just like. I'm going to, you tried, you shot at us. I'm not going to shoot first. You shot at us. Now I'm going to kill you. That's the way Amos is. And, I, you know, it's a great character. I, I get that. But there's a lot of shows, you know, like I said, I watch those shows. And should I be watching them? I, I don't know. I, I you know as, as, we, as Christians, we sit here and I, I think, honestly, I wouldn't let my kids watch the show. And so, I, and I wouldn't sit down with my mom and dad and watch the show. And I wouldn't sit down with people I greatly respect and watch the show. So I'm just like, why am I watching this movie? Why am I watching this show? And it's not, 
you know, kind of like what you know, Paul said, you know, if, if my brother's offended by the food that I eat, then I won't eat food again. But it's not his liberty is to not judge my conscience. And I'm, I'm not saying anything about these guys' conscience because they love the Lord. They walk with him every day. But I just think for me personally, when I watch these shows, I'm just kind of like, I don't feel right watching them. And I think that's okay. That's justified. That's when it becomes wrong. Right. It becomes wrong. It's wrong to me. Right. says don't watch I'm it. I'm not telling you guys not to watch it. I'm you're, just saying yeah. to me, and I think each Christian out there has to look at it. And maybe even if you're not a Christian, you just have to kind of look at this stuff and say, is this is this what I want my kids seeing? Is is this what I want? With all the crap that's going on in the world today, Maybe every once in a while it would be nice to watch a Family Matters, or you know, I miss that show so I do too. much. Family Matters, and I mean, just Urkel. that whole block of TV that was on. And Urkel, era. one of the greatest characters ever developed. Oh, Stefan later oh, on. Oh, he was so I horrible like when Stephon. he came. Stephon, I like that. I like that. That's whole closer Stephon to what he is in real life. Yeah, Stephon I like was. the whole Stefan yeah. Urkel thing. That oh. was uh, Family Matters was great. Uh, I don't know what's some of the other. Oh, shows by the way, were. the guy who played Urkel makes several appearances in Psych. <laughs> not a good enough reason. And so does Freddie Prince. Not a good enough reason. And so does the guy who played uh, Robin Hood with the English accent. Well, Freddie Prince ruined Twenty Four. So, oh, <laughs> he was in Twenty Four. Twenty Four, great show. Never Until seen. Freddie Prince came along. Really Twenty Four, fantastic. Yep. Yeah, Twenty Four. We oh well, gosh, I remember back in VCR. We oh, did you take Twenty Four? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we come in. And, Put it in her watch and stuff. We we take that and Jag. Jag was a great. Jag is a show. At one time, it was like way Jag. up there. Jag was good. Yeah, Jag was pretty good. Jag was good. Jag gave birth to NCIS, which is I, I guess when the dudes, hey, Mark Harmon, they're just going to hook him up to an IV and roll him out there, you know, on a furniture dolly, so he can do the show. People must love that show. Apparently, that NCIS is the longest running, currently running television show. It's Girl, been on for like twenty long. seasons. Yeah, surely it really. Long order, isn't it's not been on longer than I don't think so. The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Been out for like Twenty something years. I, li- I, I like. Well, we liked NCIS. I have Google. When it first came out, <laughs> we did. NCIS was a great, great show. Yeah. And then they started getting some characters in there I didn't really like. But the NCIS, I guess the kind of cool thing about NCIS was that, you know, here's a good show with good writing, good actors, people that you could identify with. Uh, when they got rid of Tony, that was it for me. When Tony left the show, mm. that was all I needed. I watched, I've never watched an episode. We watched episode. SVU. According to this, Gunsmoke That's the one we is like. the longest running. Gunsmoke is a great Gunsmoke show. Gunsmoke great no, no, no. show. It has to be still Watch running. it every day. Huh? It has to be At still noon. running. Which is, really? Gunsmoke is not. Yeah, we have, uh, the, we have the air over the air in the break room. Two day. That's still in the air. There's two yeah. days. Gun, and it's just, there's just so, those shows out there, they're just timeless shows that were great shows that did not have to have this stuff today. Mm-hmm. And I think part of what you were saying earlier, I think that is true. They realize the content's not that great, so we got to put this stuff in there mm-hmm. so that people will watch it. But I, I'm just one of these people, and I, maybe I'm just weird as a guy, but I'm just, I'm uncomfortable watching naked women with my wife in the room. It just, I, I don't like it. I don't like doing that. I, you know. So it, can we blame it on the viewers instead of the creators? Uh, I mean, if you're getting ratings, it's, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, if if historically a show does better if it has that thing in it, those things in it, it's not the creators. Problem, well, they're like, the I, I guess what they're doing is they're like, well, Yellowstone's the number one show out there, but you think about it, there's not there's not good shows out there really right now. There's there's yeah, not there's nothing good out there. I mean, we had a Thursday night uh, back in the old days. Hmm. We had Thursday night called it, and you would have. Uh, I remember much seat TV. That's what they oh, called yeah. it. Yep. And it started with Mad About You, and yeah. Then, and, then yeah. It, and then it had Mad About You, and it was like Seinfeld, and then Frasier, and then it had something else. Uh, and you just watch those shows. You're just like Cheers was on for a long time. Oh my God. Cheers was a great show. Cheers was a good show. They just don't do anything. And then all of a sudden, and, and then we got this character called Beth, and she's British. All actors. out of all the actresses out there. We couldn't find legitimate American to play somebody from Montana. I mean, mm-hmm. a majority of the MCU is British. I know. Or Canadian. Or British right. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys you guys know I'm a fan of the eighties. It was the greatest decade ever. Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and thank you. you okay. Had, you had real action. Every heroes week. Every week. Men. Schwarzenegger come out this week. The next week was gonna be Willis. Then the yep. week after that was gonna be Stallone. Then yep. the week after that was gonna be Von Damme. Yep. And that's what we had. 
all the time. You had all these blockbuster movies coming out. Men that all looked the like time. men too. You know, they're all just like men who were manly men and let's go out and kill stuff. And that, and that's what they did. And it was it was so over the top though. It was funny in in a sense. Mm. Uh, now you we, just have superhero movies. But who's who's the actor? Who's who's the great American actor now? Great American actor? Yeah. I don't well, we have one. Mm. My two, uh, my John two favorite, Reeves. My two favorite actors that I will go see right now are both British. Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Chris Hemsworth. Can't, don't forget Keanu. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. I'll see Keanu. Keanu has to be I'll, in there. Okay, no, you're right. Okay, Keanu, right now, Keanu Reeves is the number one Speaking, American Speaking, did you see that he gave, off of The Matrix 4, he gave $75 million that he made. He gave $75 million to the crew. The special effects crew. He should have because it sucked. <laughs> and Harley. He probably he is like, I'm sorry this Harley's sucks too. so much. Yeah, here, I'm, I'm going to give you my too. money. Yeah, because nice. you're not and ever going to get a drop and we're again. Matrix fans. The first one, I remember going out of the theater after the first Almost one. Almost crying. And, and just like, wow. Yeah. Wow. It was just fantastic. And I thought the second one was great. Um, but the new one came out, folks. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your I time. I mean. Uh, one of us enjoyed it. We all loved it. We all hated it. He loved it. Well, he liked it. Whoa, whoa, I didn't say I loved it. He always I said does I appreciated it. it. I liked the movie. He always does it. It's either one of them. Either one, one of, of us them. has got to be that. One of one of them. <laughs> it's is, usually me. Yeah. If the whole room hates it, he's going to like it. And then if he. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, it's usually if me. If I don't, Mike does. does. Yeah. And it just, it's just being contrary. But the movie was just not the good. It's contrast. Is, I had my expectations too high. I you, wanted, did it, you did it right, Mike. You, you were like. Came in low. If you just. You pull the hillbilly trick. Have no expectations you just assume for the worst anything. in everything at all everything times. You you're never ever disappointed. Is going to be the worst. You're always going to be. He, meh. He, he's the MJ. It's the MJ. That's right. <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't ever have get your, if you don't ever get your appreciation. She's my expectations animal. up. You won't get disappointed. Actually, I'm her spirit animal. She learned that from me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's MJ? Spider Man. Mary Jane. Not the new Spider Man. The new Mary oh, Jane. The she says Mary it several Jane. times in the new movie. I don't get my expectations up that way. I can't get disappointed or something yeah. like that. Did you say terrible? She's a terrible she, Mary Jane. She wasn't very good. She's she is horrible. She is not pale white, and she does not have red hair. That disqualifies her from being Mary Jane. I'm sorry. Well, call like me a think. bigot. Whatever you want. I don't care. The the original comic book Mary Jane and the way it has been for uh, 50 years of Spider Man. Was it Dunst? They changed it. Yeah. Kristen Dunst. Kristen Dunst. I don't she care don't for play her as an actor. She don't play nothing anymore. She's gone. She I don't care Jane, for her as an actor. She was a great Mary Jane. Yeah. She fit the bill perfect. I oh, mean, yeah. They, we got to have a gay Spider Man. That's what they said. It's like, hey, you know what? Let's not stop there. Oh, wait. James Bond. Let's, is have, a, let's have an Asian. Did you watch the new Bond? Albino, lesbian, dwarf. You, you want to talk about a terrible movie? Go watch the new Bond. It's out. I don't know. Oh, you go. liked it. No, no, no. I like the entire movie except for the new 007, yeah. who is a black, a black woman. woman. Okay, I told you that was going to happen before yeah. you watched so, it. So, did not like that part, but she was only in it for like five minutes. Yeah, the the whole Q thing because Q came out of the closet that did not need to be in that movie whatsoever. It had no bearing on the story or anything whatsoever. So, about ten minutes of that part was that movie was terrible. The rest of the movie was fantastic, great action, mm. just. For a thrilling ride until the very last ten minutes. Sounds and like a critic. I will let you watch it. You. We can't tell you. Just oh, I'm sorry. You'll never watch another Bond movie after you that. You watched it? No, but he told me. Oh, and it's not good. I think I think it's out. I think I can. It get is. It. Yeah. I, yeah. So it's not good. Don't waste your time. Okay. Well, you, you know about that. So are we all caught up on all that stuff? I think so. On movie stuff? Yeah. I don't think there's anything else out that. I mean, seriously, we we sat out here. We were like. I don't want to talk about that thing anymore. And so here's what we're going to do. I'll just let them know. We won't. We won't, we won't. We're not using that word anymore. What we're going to do, folks, is we're going to act like this is an alternate universe here. All right? This is the real universe, though. Uh, true. <laughs> in this universe, in this timeline, everybody likes to use timelines. In this timeline, the Chrono. C thing does not exist. Okay? Yes. This is where we have the Bernstein Bears, the Monopoly guy with the monocle. Right. You know, this is that dimension. Right. If you will. So, <laughs> this uh, this little universe that we're in right now, not everybody's crazy. All right? There's sane people in Just this universe. Three. In this timeline, there's sane people in this timeline. So, you can join this universe. You know, click and subscribe down to the bottom. <laughs> 
But yeah, and if you don't click and subscribe, we just assume that you want to live in your universe. Yeah, your universe which sucks. Which is filled with crazy people. But we can say it without saying it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can say it without saying it. But we're just not... I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Because no. I'm bored with it. I'm bored with it. And it, 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 does, it, it does not affect my life at all. It just doesn't. Mm-mm. Uh, you guys, you know, certain situations a I little bit, has an effect it, on you. It I get kinda, that. It's what it is at this point. It, it made is. my life a little better, actually. I know actually, actually, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I never yeah. leave the house anymore. I work from home 100% of the time now. I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm try to convince them that. Just ship the stuff to my house. I'll work on it yeah. there. Yeah. Just, just ship a 50,000-pound fr- crane over there. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just work on it at the house. <laughs> but we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the Broalition. And we want to... Uh, uh, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to do so. Help us out a little bit. But you have to understand, we under, we know that what we talk about here is not appealing to a lot of people. You know, the, <laughs> because we talk about things from a Christian perspective. Uh, but then again, we we come together. If it, it it's just kind of weird. At least for me, if it's only like thirty people, then that's that's our thirty bros that we're hanging out with and we're talking about this stuff. And hopefully, when we do our podcast, it's it reminds you of you and your friends sitting around talking about stuff. Because that's just what we're doing. We have fun. We don't make any money off of it. We're not looking for fame or fortune or anything like that. No, because if we were, we'd be... We're looking at wrong Wow. Place. Yeah, it'd be bad. So what you're saying is you still love me even though I like Yellowstone. No. Oh, I do. Absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> you're supposed to say no there. I think you're stupid, but then, no. Uh, with the show returning, I guess we should probably talk about this in the show. What is the new schedule? So they know and I know. We should have talked sure. about that before we got on air. <laughs> Oh, by Surprise! the way, by the way, we're in our new studio. Yes, we it looks so much different. It looks similar, but we have a lot yeah. more space in here, and we have a lot more functionality in here, which hopefully you'll start Absolutely. seeing in a few weeks. Yes, yeah, yeah. so we're going to start bringing in some guests every once in a while because we're boring. And uh, we moved out of the bunker, and now we're in Mike's mom's basement. That's true. <laughs> That's what it looks <laughs> and like. It, I mean, location. Does. <laughs> it, it does, and, and you know, we're trying to figure out why not the blue is gay, but we don't know. So it won't be there long. Yeah, we're going to cover it up. We're cover it up. Be fine. We're going to do something like that. But we love you guys so much. Continue to watch all your trashy shows, you godless pagans. Unless they convict you. Yeah, I was going to say you can watch Sesame Street, and it's like it's more. It's worse uh, than, that's, I guess, worse than Jelly Stone. It's worse than Jelly Stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So God bless you guys. We'll see you later. The Gospel Broalition is done leaving behind charred mines exhaust fumes ammo multiple right. cigar wrappers and an empty this. bottle garth he don't care about anything about mission he accomplished he might have been listening to the gospel he might be waiting he might still have held on to the end waiting for some type of bible part of the show because we started we started it off with should christians do this and we barely touched on that idea we're sorry garth anything else flammable we're talking about yeah, it. it. We hope you enjoyed so. the show. No we bill, know we had fun. We'll be back would soon. You watch it with and Jesus? thank you for being a part. No, of but I probably would not drink beer with Jesus either.